Aloha. Good evening. This is Andrew Aloha Live out of Flagstaff, Arizona, with Spiritual Image Productions on Blog Talk Radio and Free Conference Call and YouTube, establishing and maintaining right relationships with you guys. Uh, yeah, okay, fine, whatever. Uh, uh, aloha and welcome to tonight's show. Tonight's intimacy, tantra, and relationship psychically fulfilled show. Of course, my sinuses are all going crazy again. So, <clears throat> I'm, um, I'm just doing the do, just going with the flow. Um, tonight, we, we are, we're here with Maha Dikini Lore, all the way out of San Francisco. Aloha, Lore. Aloha. And thanks for being here. Uh, tonight, we're talking about how do you know if you uh, if, if if he or she is right for you? How do you know if you're right for you? Oh, duh. Okay, fine, whatever. So anyhow, how do you know if he or she is right for you? I I was um uh, I was uh just coming I just doing some uh some uh surfing on the internet and I came across this article and I thought hmm it's called uh how do you know if he he or she is right for you? Um. And um, I thought, well, I think I like that idea. Um, I don't think we've talked. I don't. We haven't talked about this subject before, have we, Lorraine? I don't think so. <clears throat> I don't think so either. Either. Uh, Andrew, hello, myself, Thanks. and I. I want to learn a lot since you read the article. And <laughs> about it. Uh, well, good. You are. You're going to learn a lot. I guarantee you, 100 percent, or your money back. Uh, Andrew, hello, myself, and I. Okay. And co-host Maha Dikini Lore, welcome you to the Intimacy Tantra and Relationship Psychology Fulfilled Show. This is an online Tantra session filled with nice spice and everything right. All, all, Loho is, is a Tantra practitioner for several years, while Maha Dikini Lore is out of San Francisco, uh, and she's a se sacred sexuality educator, certified Tantra counselor, and Tantra healer. Uh, each month, Aloha, uh, myself and I, and Maha Dikini Lore, and at times other guests discuss relationships pertaining to couples, partners, lovers, and significant others from a tantric and psychic point of view. Join us as uh, for an incredibly interesting show filled with in relationships, spirituality, sensuality, intimacy, healing, sex, and more. And ton uh, um, tonight, I think I think you're you're going to find that it's going to be a very interesting show. <clears throat> Mahatma Lore is, is a, a natural teacher who. Caring presence will guide you on a journey that integrates ancient Eastern esoteric practices with discoveries in Western medicine and science. She has developed a unique approach to healing and empowering others. She knows her subject intimately and listens mindfully and thoughtfully to each individual. Her teaching style is dynamic and intuitive, in integrating experience in yoga, metaphysics, and personal growth. In a session with Mahadegin Lore, one will be able to stretch boundaries safely and gently. Uh, discover from experience what bliss is, cultivate vital life force, prana or chi, that becomes the fuel to live a fuller life. Mahdi King Lare is a certified tantric counselor and tantric healer, receiving Dakini and sexual healing training from Dr. Karina Clark, Carla Tarantola, and Deborah Annapol. PhD and um, recently became a certified mind sound teacher. She is a also a graduate of Margot Nons year long sky dancing tantra facilitating <coughs> program as well. She's a, a current member of the American Association of Sexual Educators, Counselors, and Therapists Club, as, as well as a charter member of uh, ASEP, the Association of Sexual Energy Professionals, and regularly attends trainings and conferences to keep current with the latest research and information on the um, and in the realm of mind, body, and spirit. For more on Maha Dikini Lore, you can go to mahadikini.com, M-A-H-A-D-A-K-I-N-I-E.com, and check her out from there. Um, in the meantime, Andrew Loho, myself, and I uh, is a, are a, an executive producer of Spiritual Image Productions, whose mission, goal, purpose is to establish and maintain right relationships with human value, or to exemplify to others right healthy relations with ourselves and with each other. Uh, Aloha, myself and I have been counseling, couch, coaching, mentoring for over 15 years. The strategy readings we do that I do are a Western and esoteric style of tradition 
Western astrology readings are more personality or lower ego based style of information while esoteric readings are more soul true life purpose based on the date for the latter being psychically derived. Uh, past, present, and future are covered in both styles while the whole reading is done with a psychic intuitive emphasis as well as with tarot cards. Now, um, <clears throat> we are, we're gonna, we're gonna go into this and we're gonna go full force because there's a lot of information to cover concerning this subject matter. And, um, um, and, and anyhow, we're gonna go, um, we, I wanna give a big aloha to, before we start, uh, a big aloha to all of our underwriters who help make the show happen from week to week, month to month, year to year, beginning with uh, the 90 day ascension journey at www.90dayascensionjourney.com. When you sign up for the 90 day ascension journey, you will be facilitated with re defining and redefining your soul to life purpose. You will be assisted with finding out what ascension means to you on this journey. You will be provided with tools, techniques, and assistance to empower you to connect and reconnect with yourself, your emotions and feelings, and your mind, body, and spirit. Through a universal soul center process, you will be going through a lifelong transformation that will allow you to move forward with your endeavors and never look back if you dare. And for those of you that are interested, I, I do ha I, I wrote the book version of this all, all, about two years ago almost, and um, it's available on, on Kindle for like 99 cents. You can go check it out, and then if you are you're interested, uh, you can plug into the to the mentoring program aspect of this, uh, a 12 uh, 12 week program or, or an intensive, which, whichever you prefer, and then um, and we can talk about something like that if you want. Anyhow, um, um, we also have Anovate at www.spiritualimageproductions.anovate.com. Anovate being a French word, A-N-O-V-I-T-E, uh, with over 25,000 scientific published on papers on, on, on colostrum, a 90-day uh, guarantee and winner of the Healthy Living People's Choice Award twice over. Anovate um, focuses on helping people with weight loss, anti-aging, heart disease, diabetes, depression, high blood pressure, asthma, allergies, rheumatoid arthritis, inflammation, gout, lupus, fibro, fibromyalgia, Crohn's disease, cancer, ulcers, the polio virus, chronic infections, digestive disorders, Alzheimer's disease, autoimmune disease, thymus gland, mental clarity, maintenance and protection of the immune system, synthesis and repair of the RNA and DNA, and much, much more. You can check it out for yourself. And of course, we also have Maha Dikini Loray at www.mahadikini.com. Maha Dikini Loray's life has been a personal journey exploring sexuality and spirituality for 20 years. She's a certified tantric counselor mm -hmm. and tantric healer and a certified mind sound teacher. Maha Dikini Loray is also a graduate of Margot Non Here Long Sky Dance and Tantra Facilitating Program, as well as a current member of the American Association of Sex Educators, Counselor, and Therapist Club, and a charter member of the Association of Sexual Energy Professionals. She regularly attends trainings and conferences to be current with the latest research and information on sexual education. And then finally, we do have the 2018 MUFON Symposium at www.mufonsymposium.com. MUFON is the oldest and largest civilian UFO investigative organization in the United States with over 4,000 members worldwide in 43 countries and in all 50 states. MUFON has also, uh, MUFON also has over 500 certified uh, field investigators, including myself, deployed worldwide. This year's uh, 2018 MUFON symposium, symposium will be held at the Crown Plaza in Cherry Hill, New Jersey from the 27th through the 29th of July of this year, with its theme being UFOs, extraterrestrials, and the future of humanity. There will be various speakers from all over the country, probably all over the world, presenting at this uh, event. Register now at the symposium website. See you there. If you happen to be there and you notice me there, uh, give me a big high five and at least let me know that you're there. So, anyhow, we're gonna go back. We're gonna come back to this this subject matter. I think I think there's there's millions, literally millions of people that are really confused of what it takes to find a good partner, uh, somebody that's just right for you. Somebody that's just perfect for, for for who you are right now. Yeah, is it safe to say that, Maya Dikini Loray? <clears throat> I think there's a lot of people looking. Yeah. And there's a lot of people in relationships that aren't happy. You know, I I, th I think they, all, all those dating sites out there should hire me to help their people out, <clears throat> find the right people because, man, I tell you what. 
there's a lot of, uh, I, I don't know what their success rate is, but I don't think it's very high. I mean, at best, maybe 65%, maybe 65%. I don't, I don't think there's any dating site out there, dating website or organization or group or company that has much better, uh, or, or much better than a 65% uh, rating of a success with their clientele. Um, Maybe and, and maybe and maybe it is better, but I, I don't think so. I just don't. So what do you think? All right. So well, can I make a distinction between you know again? There's a lot of dating sites. There, there's I, and I've never I hear about this Tinder and some of these other places that are just more pickup places as opposed to people who are really want to get into serious relationships. And then there are um, uh, what do you call it? The uh, matchmakers. Yeah. People who are in business that way, and <clears throat> you know, uh, in fact, there was one. It's I don't think it's on uh, TV anymore, but uh, she was a matchmaker and would get people together and um, have guys <laughs> check over you know these girls in a in a you know a bunch of that would fit his criteria, and then he would select one and then go out on a date and vice versa, woman. Um, but she was really high high profile and had to have lots of money and all that kind of stuff. And I don't really know what her success rate was either. You know, I, I, even the Bachelorette or the Bachelor or um, what, uh, the, that dating game, the dating game, I think it was called years and years ago. Uh, you, yeah, you, a long time ago. Yeah. Even even their their success rate is probably just as high or, or higher than all these dating sites. If you ask me, but that's besides the point. So, um, so anyhow, what, what do you what do you think? Uh, what do you think, uh, Mahadevi Lori? How how do you how, how do you know if you if you've got if you you're going out with the right guy? If you're, you're hanging out with the right guy, if you're involved with the right guy, how do you know? Um, I I guess you don't. Well, some people know right away. They have an intuitive <clears throat> feeling, but I think it it comes down to um, how you can communicate with each other, okay. um, how you treat each other, okay. how you deal in times of stress, okay. you know, and, and I think a lot of times when people are dating, they have their nice face on, and then after a while, their the real part of them comes, you know, comes through, and, um, you know, people really aren't authentic when they're they're dating because they want to impress and and they're putting on um an aspect of themselves that that is only a piece it's a, it's a parcel of who they are as opposed to showing somebody the totality so so you hit you hit it on the nail um uh and let's be psychic. On various levels <laughs> yeah right uh, so I, I I think you you you're in the right direction, uh, though I think I think okay. you, you'll, you'll want to refine this even more. Uh, number one, I think okay. the bottom line. I mean, no matter. And I I went through several articles for for I, I did a lot of research on this, and uh, I I learned a lot more than I thought I was going to learn. I, I there are some some um some perceptions that I have about uh being involved with people that, that weren't true. And I went to my guides and I said, I asked this and I asked that. And they were going, uh, you know, they, 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 the, my per perceptions about uh, different aspects of, of, of relationships was, uh, changed o overnight, literally. And so um, the, the bottom line, and, and uh, you know, I, I read several articles, uh, Lorraine, I really did. And so, so there's so many cheesy people out there. I mean, oh my God! I was like, I don't even know how how they can write some of this stuff. It's so so such bullshit, you know. But that's besides the point. Well, look at the, the you know look at the state of affairs. I mean, we're a very super oh um, no the, no no Lorraine. This had this had nothing to do with state we're of affairs. We're a very superficial society. This was, the, uh, this had nothing to do with state are, of affairs. Are written for what did you say? I said this had nothing to do with state of affairs. The, the information these people were putting out was so cheesy, so full of BS. Well, that's what I'm so saying. So full of it's bullshit. Very superficial. And, 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 and I just couldn't believe the stuff I was reading. I just couldn't believe it. 
Well, okay. So where did you what where did you find these articles? So uh, uh, online. It, again, a lot of it is like tabloid stuff. Uh, uh, online and, uh, also online. also I think some of them were even uh, videos and stuff. So so uh, I'm gonna go I'm gonna jump right in, <laughs> Mahadeen Lawyer. Uh, the bottom so was line. They, they, were, were they written <clears throat> by therapists? Were they written by you know relationship yep, people? Yeah, yeah, all coaches? of the above. All, all kinds of people. All kinds of people. And yeah, well, some right, of them were well, therapists. Just good to hear. Yeah, and 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 and, and in fact, uh, I think well, I can't remember. What, there was one article that I ran across that I thought was really reasonable, and um, I can't remember if if these were therapists or whatever. But but anyhow, the bottom line is, no matter how, what anybody tells me, no matter who you talk to, no matter how much of a friend anybody is to you, the bottom line is, if if you really want to know if he or she is right for you. Go and you said it. You said it right at the beginning. Uh, go to your heart space. If you are in your heart, and then you ask the question: Is is she right for me? Is he right for me? Right? Or I mean, and, and, or, and see when you ask these questions, um, of, as you know, from your guides, from yourself, of yourself, of uh, of God, uh, you 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 want to make sure you ask the right question, and that helps too. So you ask, you're in your heart space, you're contemplating, you're meditating, you're, you're sitting there, and you're just, just uh, observing, you're being the observer, and you've been going out with this person two weeks, a month, a year, whatever, and you ask, you sit down and you ask, you go, and you, and you, and you do, you want to be in your heart space. If, you, if, you, if you're not in your heart space, you're going to be confused, and if you're confused, that means you have to figure out how to get into your heart space, bottom line. No matter what what goes on, if you're confused or ever confused about anything or anyone, you, you want to get into your heart space and, and then make your decisions. So you, you, you get into your heart space, you meditate, uh, uh, I don't know, you, you go out and walk, you go out and garden or whatever it takes to get in your heart space. You sit there, you sit down, and then you, you ask, is this person the right person for me now? And, and you do. You want to be very particular about how what question you're asking is this is, is this person the right person for me in this time and space now and you will get your answer i guarantee you you'll get an answer one way or another through a dream through uh <coughs> some kind of billboard somebody will talk you're talking to you and, and they'll go oh this person is an amazing guy i can I, how, I don't know how long you've been going out with this guy but but you know that you're, you're a lucky person but you know blah 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 and or or maybe the other way you know you know hopefully, hopefully not but maybe the other way this guy is a real cheater uh, he's he's a thief and he uh he really uh, uh, just beats people up blah 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 and you know hopefully you don't find it uh, find out that type of information second hand before you even go out this person but but it's like that it's like that you want to be in your heart space uh before you even ask the question uh, period. That's where you start at. That's that's the the, the bottom line, the, the foundation. And the other things that you can do that uh, um, that will help to to hone in and refine um, whether you're with the right person or not is you can use a pendulum. If you don't know what a pendulum is, look it up on the uh, internet, and then uh, you can probably buy one on the internet, and then the, the, there's the, there's information on how to use it. The other the other thing you can do is do muscle testing. You, uh, there's probably all, uh, all kinds of, of videos on, on YouTube and books on how to do muscle testing. Again, before you do any of that, uh, the pendulum or the muscle testing, you want to be in your heart space. Now, um, the other thing you can do is, is, um, is talk to God, goddess, or your guides. Uh, there's all kinds of, of, of you know, beings out there that, that, that are working with you. And, um, or, you know, you can sit down and again, you know, just, just pray to them or talk to them, you know, Hey God, um, I've been going out with this, this, this person for, for three months. Uh, is this person the right person for me right now in this time and space? Please give me a sign one way or another so that I know, uh, you know, consciously right away, uh, whether this person is the right person or not. For me. And, and you will, you, I guarantee you, you will get a sign. Well, I have a question. So right now you're kind of talking met uh, metaphysically and esoterically. What if somebody's, um, you know, not uh, a believer in, in the deities or the god goddess or, you know, religious? 
uh, again, uh, uh, the, the pendulum, the pendulum and muscle testing are not having nothing to do with religion at all. And if people don't don't if they if they don't want to know, they don't want to know it. I'm not going to argue. It's just like with this woman the other night. I was doing a psych a, a reading for her, and she just she's got got belligerent. And you know, I I told her that, that I gave her the answers to to a, a certain. I I told oh I told her to surrender herself and everything about herself to to God, God, whoever she prays to. And she, and and, she, and what the, the what it is is that she has to know and she has to be right. The only reason that she wants, and I did, I gave her the answer to her for why she should do that. And then she goes, well, why don't you give me the answer? And she got really belligerent. And the bottom line is she wanted, she want, if, if I didn't give her the right answer, then she would be, it would give her ammunition to accuse me of being wrong. So she want, she's just one of the persons, those persons that wants to be right all the time. I don't have time, nor am I going to waste energy on that kind of bullshit. Not even for a second. So I, I said, okay, thanks, good night, see you later. So and that was like that. Now, um, you can consult a psychic or an astrologer. Uh, again, these are just parameters. Uh, you you might even find your own way of of, of of figuring out you know if this person is right or wrong. And and, the, and no matter what anybody says or does, uh, there are so many variables in terms of whether a person is right or wrong for you. Uh, there are so many variables. Uh, and, and, and well, what about the more plain ones, like doing a backup ground check, checking them out on on Facebook and their Instagram accounts and their Snapchat or whatever? Yeah, you 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 can you can do that, but but what what That's if the, the what, if, what if a person that that just got out of jail is the perfect person for you? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> there you go. That's what I'm saying. If you rely on society's technology, you know, there's so much bullshit out there. Who knows what, 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 whatever, uh, you know, what, what people are putting out there. Who knows? So if you trust in God, goddess, and if you trust in yourself, if you trust in, in the pendulum when you're in your heart space, if you trust in muscle testing when you're in your heart space, I guarantee you that's going to give you a lot more accurate information, a lot more accurate answer than all the bullshit out there in, in, in technology. I guarantee you, 100%. I guarantee you. Earn your money back. Right? So it's like that. So well, uh, who knows I, I all the reasons? I don't, I don't want to say, but, you know, if, if you're... What if a guy gets out of jail and he's a, a rapist or something, or he's, you know, in jail because he exposes himself to people? I mean... Okay. I, I, and what what if what if what if a woman has gone to jail for several times for being a prostitute, and she's the right she's the right person for me? Right. You get what I'm saying. You you, you can go to all the technology you want, but technology is not perfect. Technology doesn't uh, doesn't have anything to do with heart energy. None. It, it, it's just information, and that's it. So if you want to get to the core of who you want, who you're supposed to be involved with, you, you you're going to want to be open and, and and you know who knows this the 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 whole this guy was a rapist but 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 uh, uh, some somebody he got put in jail for raping somebody but it was all a bullshit scene and because of the bullshit scene he 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 took the rap anyhow and he and, and, and I watched a movie not too long ago. This guy, it was the exact same thing. Uh, somebody got, got raped, and, and he got accused for it, and he got put in jail for it, and he took the rap. And that, that ruined his whole life because of somebody else being, being an asshole. All right? So who knows? Well, all, well, you did know, he or did he not? I mean, that's a big No, question. he didn't. That's, that's, you know, he didn't. Oh, he did. So he no. was falsely accused. That's what I'm okay. saying. Oh, and right. I'm not saying all, all the cases in, uh, of, of prisoners and jailbirds are like that. But there are a large number of them that are like that. So you, you uh, and who knows? Maybe you, you might be the person. A guy's a thief, and he got thrown in jail because he got caught. And you might be the person that might, might be just. Uh, you might be his soulmate and the person he's been looking for. And maybe he changes his life completely all the way around because you, you, he may finally made a connection that's family. And you know, most of the time, a lot of people that go to jail and prison are usually selfish. 
I, I think I probably 99% of the people that are in jail and prison are selfish people, period, to begin with. But, you know, okay. and, and a lot of times they don't connect with family, they don't connect with friends, uh, and, and who knows, you know, the dark forces, I guarantee you, and I've seen this happen before, there are people that are of the dark forces, there are beings, there are entities out there in the dark forces that have been waiting for to come into the light, but they have never ever had any kind of excuse or reason or rhyme to go into the light. And as soon as you give them that reason or that 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 in to get into the light, guess what? They take it. So there are always people waiting to be, come into the light. There's always people and or beings or entities, and you don't ever know who they are or when they're there. A lot, a lot of times. So so you're you're gonna uh, 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 crucify somebody uh, just because of who they are, uh, because they're living on well, the street. I'm just asking the question about you know about safety and and you know. Okay, this, good. That you hit it right on the nail. You it, know, you're 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 kind of doing your due diligence. You check with your heart. You kind of check in with your guides. You kind of do a background check and cover all bases. Is yeah, that, yeah you, you can do the background specific? check. But I guarantee you, uh, you, you know, I, ha I have found girlfriends cheating on me, uh, at least one or two or three of them that have ch uh, cheated. I never, ever did a background check on them. I never, ever went out of my way to figure out whether they, they were cheating on me or not. Because why? Everything, uh, the truth always comes out. Every, no matter what, whoever, and, and who knows, maybe this guy will confess to you and, and then everything will, 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 will shift. And who knows? Maybe this this person is is a soulmate of yours. Who knows all the different aspects? And maybe this this person is has got some kind of karmic ties to you from another lifetime, where you need to release and and and, and let that go to begin with. So again, is is she, she he or she right for you? Okay, I uh, I want to go forward now. So um um let's let's go forward. So because there's a okay. lot of information that, that I want to cover. So again, you you. If, if the pendulum is telling you right, yes, if the muscle testing is telling you yes, if you get a sign from God, yes, you go to a psychic or a astrologer and they tell, all tell you yes, well, yeah, and, and yeah, this guy's been to jail for, for stealing, what, what are you going to do, huh? You're going to argue with God? You know how many arguments I've had with, with, with God and, and every one of them I've lost? Every one of them I've lost? You know how many arguments? Several. Several. So, are you going to sit there and argue with God because because this person's been to jail for for stealing? Yeah. Right. Okay. Fine. Well, you you can argue with God all you want. You can take the other road, and that, and that's that that doesn't hurt my feelings at all. Not even for a second. Now, so, and you're right. I I hear what you're saying. That that you yeah you want to be you want to be uh in this day and age. Uh, you don't want to get in yourself involved in a situation that's da potentially dangerous or unhealthy um, and, and uh, some, something that's that's not right. Mm -hmm. I hear what you're saying. Um, so let's right. look let's let's look at the stuff that makes a relationship right. You know, first of all, you, you want to look at okay. uh, are, are 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 they being supportive of you and your your efforts? Are are you being supportive? Um, are are they creative? Are you uh, and are you guys and they are are they allowing you to be creative? Are they being of service? You know, if people, you know, somebody could have been in jail for 20 years and they can come out and be the the most righteous people in the world and you wouldn't even know it. So uh, so again, are, are they mm -hmm. being of service? If they're if they're following these steps, then 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 and, and, and on a consistent level, not just like every you know uh, every other day or once a week. But if they're doing this on regular basis, like on, you know, are they be, are are they being of service? Are they grateful and thankful for everything that's going on? Are they, are they um 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 appreciative of, of of everything that's going on in their life? Uh, that's another major green light that you're in the right direction. That that this person is is in the right direction. Uh, let me see how are they. Uh, well, you don't know right away, so it's like don't isn't. Don't you need to date them for a while to find out? Like I said, oh. you well, you, oh, Lorraine, and... uh, you just said it yourself. Uh, why date them? Why not go investigate them first and then and then get to know them? Oh, that makes a lot of sense. Okay, 
Um, yeah. So you do the background check on them and 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 um, and and then date them if, if their background check comes out clean. So why bother going out with them if, if, you, if they don't come out have a green a clean background, right? Is that right? Yeah, well, you've got to make an informed decision, and um, I mean, I might think twice about dating somebody who it, has a record. It depends on what kind of what, Lorraine, what their crime was. As a rule of thumb, it's like with any other mm -hmm. company that hires an employee. It's like with any other business deal. If you hire the person, and yeah, maybe maybe you're you're you work in a, in a, a very sensitive environment, and maybe you have to do a background check. And I see that. But mm -hmm. when when you go and, and hang out with somebody, and and if they start acting out, and they start acting up, and they start some weird stuff starts acting up, then maybe yeah, you you mm -hmm. might want to take do a background check on this person and see what's going on. If this guy has mental, this person has mental issues or something, or maybe they're, they're, you know, something's going on. So yeah, I, I can see that. But, but, you know, when you're out there talking, you're at the grocery store, you talk, you're talking to somebody, you hit it off with them. Hey man, you sit there and talk to somebody in 20 minutes in the grocery store, 30 minutes, and you just, and you just connect, you know, you just feel it. Just like you said earlier, if you feel something, then, 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 then all of a sudden, you know, you know, every it's like nobody, nobody uh, else is there except you and this person. You're the whole world is is like completely melted away, and you're you're just sitting there talking to him. So now, with that in mind, you you so you hang out with yeah. this person, you talk to them, you go out with them, even once, even one date, you can you can tell uh, whether this person is is in the right direction for you or not. And how do you tell that? It's do the the bar the bar room test. You know about the bar room test, uh, Lorraine? What is it called? It's called the bar room test. The bar test. Bar bar test? No. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What is that? Okay. So so uh, again, and and this is you don't have to wait twenty days or twenty months to know if this is per the right person or you or for you or not. You you can tell right away. I mean, number one, if you you sit there again, you're talking. To this person, and you just you just seem to know each other. I mean, it's like you've known each other for forever and ever. You sit there and talk and talk, and you could sit there and talk with each other all night long and into the morning, and not even miss, miss a beat. And and you could be go to a bar or anywhere to a restaurant or, or some some kind of activity. And the, this bar test is a way of knowing whether this person is into you or not. And and so if, if you're sitting there talking to this person. And then all of a sudden they're looking around, they're checking out some other chick or some other dude. Uh, they're they're sitting there, um, look, you know, looking looking around at uh, other people, uh, other potential uh, sex mates for the night. Then you obviously don't have the right person. It's like, you know, see you later, bye. And literally, you know, you yeah. I, you walk away. And, and I I've seen this happen. You know, there, there's a guy that looking around and and they're not in, really interested in this person. Yeah, uh, you know they're just who knows what their intentions are, um, but but they're just looking around and they're not into you. So I've seen women just walk away and just uh, not even say a word to, and take off. It's like that. So now with that in mind, mm -hmm. with that in mind, Lorraine, uh, what you want to do is know what kind of person you want in your life to begin with. Now this is where it's tricky because. Um, you know, if you look at the 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 end result, you know you you've lived every lifetime for thousands of lifetimes, and 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 what happens uh, at the towards the very and it's not even the end uh, is eventually um, if if people were to understand what happens towards towards the uh, towards um, I I don't want to say end because I don't think it's end but at the the culmination. Of, of, of who you are, what happens is you become a Mahatma. You become, you join one, uh, one with millions, thousands of other people, other beings, and you uphold a planet. You uphold a star system. You uphold a, a, um, a, a sun. I mean, all, a, a, a mountain here on planet Earth. There's all kinds of, because eventually 
what happens is you start connecting with your your soulmates, your 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 twin flame, and you start of uh, becoming a voice as one. All you people, millions of people, become a Mahatma. They become one being, one entity, and they become one son. So if you understand, if you look at what the reasons are for being involved with anybody to begin with, then it it will it would make it. I, I think it would make it a lot easier to make decisions on whether you want to be involved with somebody or not. Okay. Um, and, and if you get involved with uh, this person sexually, you start sharing karma with this person. Now, this could be a karmic relationship. There's three main different types of relationships that these people talk about. A karmic relationship, a soulmate relationship, and a twin flame relationship, which I believe is also the same thing as a consort relationship. you know what a consort is? A what kind of relationship? Consort. Consort? Yeah. Do you know what a consort is? Um... No. I, I believe that a consort and a twin flame are the same thing. Uh, and maybe I'm wrong about that, but I, I still haven't come, to, uh, you know, been, out, be able to, been able to find enough information to, uh, to, to answer that or not, one way or another. So anyhow, um, a consort is your, is your partner as an enlightened being, as a saint, as an avatar, oh. as a logo, okay? So you yeah okay. you know Shiva his consort has his consort is Parvati, um, uh, Jesus his consort right. is is um, Mary Magdalene, Mary uh, Magdalene and, yeah. and so on and so on. So all these saints that are highly evolved beings uh, no longer get involved with anybody else anymore except that one consort and that's it. And I, I'm I, again I don't know if it's the same thing as a twin flame. It may not be, but but I it's, it's still I still haven't run across any information that defines that in one way or another. So anyhow, uh, so eventually, uh, and, and one, one, uh, one article that I read put it really, really perfect uh, in the way, um, let me see, in the way that, that, um, um, that they, they uh, describe relationships. The differences between mate, meeting your soulmate and your twin flame can be distinctly felt. You, when you meet your soulmate, you will have a sense of comfort like you've known them in a past life. But meeting your twin flame is like meeting yourself and another person. The twin flame relationship takes uh, work. Uh, okay, this again, I think this is one of those cheesy, cheesy um, articles. Uh, so anyhow, one of, the, one of these articles put it really well in that, you know, you get involved in all, the, over the years, over the lifetimes, hundreds and thousands of lifetimes that you've lived, that people have lived, you're, you, you get involved in relationships uh, with other people to practice being involved with your twin flame or your consort. So it's like that. It's like that. So, you know, maybe, maybe the, the, the so is it more of a spiritual connection? It could be anything. Is that, is that our intent? Is that the intent to... Uh, eventually, and evolve and grow spiritually. Uh, eventually, yes, yes, but not necessarily. Does that make sense? So it, it's like it's like you know you go through the whole process of being initiated. You 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 become you you go through uh, learning how to um, uh, take care of the body. You be, you become a neophyte and then you take care of the body. You go through the first initiation. You, you take care. Uh, you balance your emotions and feelings. You go through the second initiation, and then you go through the third initiation and and and, and uh, develop your mental capabilities. And then you go through this trans transfiguration trans process and transformation process, and go through your fourth and fifth yeah. uh, uh, initiation, and you become a, a master, a full fledged master of someone that that um, yeah knows how to control and balance their 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 senses. And their environment, the, the stuff that's in the, in the environment. That's how you know who a master is. They have control over the, not just their senses, but the, 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 the environment as well. So anyhow, in that pro process, you know, as a neophyte, you might have relationships that, that are just, just the physical, you know, and maybe emotional, not necessarily spiritual or, or mental. They're just having fun and you're just, you know, you're just out there being a kid, being, being, being a uh, you know a, a kid like person, and that's it. That's all it is. So so when you're trying to 
when you want to know who is the right person for you, you want you you need to know what your true life purpose is, what your soul life purpose is, what uh, what, what you're here to accomplish as a soul, uh, and then you 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 want to know what where you're at in your developmental process. Are you working on on your physical um, uh, your first initiation, your second? So so now you're being involved in relationships that have to do with with you know physical activity or emotional activity or mental activity uh, or or highly you know more spiritual and more more saintly more masterly activity so it depends on where you're at and what your 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 intentions are and that and, and that is where the b- bottom line is for that is that you you need to know what your intentions are for that right relationship to happen that right person so it, it, it doesn't matter who this person is. If this person is the right person is for you, then you're in the you're in the right direction. So what? Who cares? Okay. So now, uh, and again, you, you, what are you here to accomplish this lifetime? What are your intentions with this relationship? What what were what, what uh, how developed are you uh, again? Uh, are you working on your second initiation, third initiation? And who are your teachers? Your teachers may be Saint Germain and Jesus. Whereas their their teachers may may actually be uh, uh, Buddha and and um, Jesus, uh, they may actually have different teachers, but they're still the right person, so for you for this uh, for this time and space for right now. Does that make sense to you? Mm-hmm. So now, again, now, again, you're kind of bringing it up way spiritual, but the majority of people in in the you know in the United States aren't on this path. So what do you say to them? Exactly. <laughs> right? So, again, if people are demonstrating... So for, for somebody who just wants to date, he's tired of Tinder and all the other, whatever else it is, Matchbox 20 or Match, <laughs> I don't know, uh, whatever they call it, and all those things. And there's, like I said, the difference between just a hookup site and people who are... Kind of, you know, uh, eHarmony, I guess, and, and what is it, Match? Dot com. Yeah. yeah. I, I hear, I hear com. you. I hear you. Uh, uh, so. And, they're just, and, 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 you know, women are looking for guys so that they can have kids, and guys are looking for women so that they can, um, yeah, but to what, sleep with that night. But what, what, what about the old fart? It's just as simple as that. What, what about the old fart that's 65 years old? They can't have kids anymore. Doesn't want a kid. What about that? Well, so maybe he's looking for maybe he's looking for a cuddle mate. He's looking for somebody to keep his bed warm. Okay, okay. He so want the dog. so we're back. We're back to to your intentions. Intentions. Now it doesn't matter how right. old you are, how old you are. This whole process works for any any age, any age. So it doesn't matter okay. how old you are. If you let, let let set down your intentions, write down your intentions. I want, I want a, I want a partner, a lifelong partner to, just to hang out with and spend my lifetime with. I want a lover who I just want to have hot sex with for the next few months. I want a, 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 I want a husband or a wife that I want to be involved with for, for, for 50 years or the rest of my life and have three kids. Again, if, if, you, if you don't sit down and know what the hell you want, then what, why bother? Who, who, what does it matter if you're in the wrong room involved with the right guy or not, a right per, a woman or not? It doesn't matter. So if you don't sit down and write, at least establish your intentions and, and establish some boundaries. Uh, boundaries. Um, uh, I want this person to come over two or three times a week and hang out with me, and then I got to work in between. Blah blah blah. I, 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 and I want to go out on vacations with this person. And I want to be. Uh, and any time this person comes over, I want this person to be right, healthy relationship with me. Blah blah blah. Again, you want to set down intentions and boundaries. In, 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 in that, that uh, whole uh, letter, or, you know, I mean, you can write this down for yourself, a whole, a whole uh, uh, guideline for, for your, your own personal guideline to be in good, healthy relations with another person. Okay? And, and, and it doesn't hurt to write that down. It only takes a, a, a little bit, you know, 20, 30 minutes, what a top, to sit down and write that. So, again, you, you need to be clear with what kind of guy or woman you're looking for to begin with. If you're not... Who who cares if you're right in the right in, in, in with the right person or not? Because you, you're, 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 you're not going to know. You're not going to know at all. More likely. So now, so you do. You know, you, and and the other thing you can do. Again, we talked about this earlier. Uh, you can 
ask God, Goddess, to to uh, br um, to um, what's the word? You can ask God, Goddess, to to send you to give you a sign uh, uh, or send you the right person, the perfect person to be involved with right now. Mm -hmm. you, you can ask God, Goddess, and God, Goddess, uh, please um, make a uh, uh, how is that word? How is that word? Um, God, Goddess, please. Uh, bring me or uh, oh unite me okay God guys please okay. unite me and connect me with the perfect person to be involved with right now intimately and, and lovers and boyfriend girlfriend blah 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 you can you, you can ask make put in that request and 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 ask them uh, God guys to bring that person within uh, in, into your life within the next six months within the next three months and see what happens and mm -hmm. if it doesn't happen then ask again and keep asking until until that that perfect person comes into your life, so you 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 meet that person and you go oh oh this is the person that God 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 wants me my higher self wants me involved with right now, and so, so we we've mentioned well can I ask something? we've mentioned this in the past like when people are asking about like dating and things and is is it good or you're talking about like asking so should they write that letter and say well this is the this is the characteristics I watch, this is the, yeah, absolutely. You know, I, this is I, my criteria, and, I, you know, from looks to intelligence, to sense of humor, to bank account, to stability, to mental uh, stability, you know, that kind of stuff. I, I, I just that stated important? that. I just stated that just now. I said that, that, mm -hmm. that, that you ask God, goddess, and you write it down. You can write this person a letter. You can write God, a, God is a letter and ask them all these questions and ask this question. So I, I just said that. I said, yeah, absolutely. So I tell you what, let, let's take a little break here now. I want to play, um, oh, this is a good one. Um, uh, I'm going to play a, a song. I, I can't tell. Well, let me see. Yeah, okay, I, I'm going to go ahead and play it in now. Uh, I think it's one of those songs that's really, you can't hardly hear it, but you know, I'm going to play a, a song called Zone 5, Self-Critical versus Self-Love by Dr. Stephen Schwartz, who's a chiropractor who came up with this album called Cellular Attunement uh, where where you can um, play these and, and it will help you balance your emotions and feelings uh, in, 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 the, in these areas, particular areas and this one being, this particular area being zone 5, self-critical versus self-love. So I want to send out love, blessings, healings, angels, and light and love to you of course Lore and, and myself and all our family and friends, our places of residence our vehicles that take care of us to the President of the United States uh, I sure I I think you need some self love <laughs> for sure and and to uh, all the kids and the animals yeah. and the plants on, on the planet um especially the ones that need concern also to all those people in Florida going through all that crap uh all that shooting and uh, anyone anyone or else, anything else you want to add to that right now um no it's a pretty good list okay to everyone else in needing concern we will be back <laughs> zone five self critical versus uh, self love by Dr Stephen Schwartz from his album. Cellular to me.
back. This is Andrew Aloha Live out of Flagstaff, Arizona, the Spiritual Women's Production on Block Talk Radio and Free Conference Call and mm-hmm. YouTube, establishing and maintaining right relationships with the human body. Tonight we're talking about how do you know if, if he or she is right for you. And so far we've been talking about uh, the, the bar test. That's one of the simplest, easiest ways to, to, to begin this process. Um, is he or she you know, wherever wherever you go to, uh, um, any kind of activity or a bar or or a play or whatever, is he or she looking around to see if there's somebody else to have sex with, uh, or is or, or is this person really attentive on on you, really you're like focused on you and paying attention to what's going on and really being very present with you? Uh, that's that's one of the simplest, easiest ways to begin this process and again i've seen people walk away you know the, their partner was sitting there looking around um at uh, around to other people and then they, they just walk walk away and without saying anything and, and I, I guess they you know they figure if they want to go hang out with somebody else let them i mean i, I don't have a problem with that why not so um anyhow the and then we also looked at intentions uh, you know, what are your intentions with this partner? Uh, and, and, and if your intentions aren't clear, then chances are you're going to have a hard time figuring out whether this person is right for you. And, and, and then 
if uh, you, uh, there are all, all there's also other ways of, of, of finding out of looking at this uh, to, uh, to uh, figuring this out you can consult a psychic or astrologer um, and then um, you can also use the pendulum and also do muscle testing and then the, and then the bottom line is no matter what uh, and how you do it if you if you're not in your heart space you're probably going to be confused whether this person is right for you or not so the so you want to be in your heart space and, and chances are when you connect with this person a lot of times especially if they're a soulmate or a twin flame um, when you're in your heart space all of a sudden you have this connection like no tomorrow like you've known this person forever and ever amen and 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 you sit there and you talk and you talk and you just like talk about everything under the sun and then it, and it chat and you know you're talking during at somewhere in the evening and then all of a sudden the sun comes up and you're still talking in the morning so it's like that so it's like one of those connections and so you want to you know you have to figure out and, and one of the things you can do that will help in this process is figure out if this is a karmic relationship that you're you're involved in or a soulmate relationship or a twin flame now. We also talked about the idea that a twin flame can also be a consort. Uh, I, 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 again, I didn't find enough information about that to, to know whether they are one, one and the same. But a consort is a partner for a saint, like Jesus and, and Mary Magdalene, and um, I, I don't know, of, of Shiva and Parvati. You know, you don't, they, they will never ever be partners with anybody else, more than likely, and, and, and they will be partners with that person forever and ever amen so it's like that now the other part of the equation again all this is not just something simple that that pe you know a lot of these these, pe these, pe these people write these articles and they're they're, they're, they're so full of crap you know because they're, they're so uh, uh, you know I don't even know if they've been involved in, in a real relationship or uh, or a soulmate relationship or twin flame relationship I don't know but but they're, they're you know, if you look at the long-range picture of, of, of what's, what a, real, a relationship is all about to begin with, then, then you, you'll, you'll find it, it's, it's a lot easier to deal with. Uh, so the long-term idea or notion for a relationship is that eventually you'll be involved in a group of relationships with your soulmates, your twin flame. And when you get involved in these, these, these the, and you, you know... How where you're at in that development process? What do you process. mean by that? Uh, 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 hang on. That, so you'll know that that yeah, that number one, you have you have to know what your soul purpose is all about. You're going to want to know what your uh, true life purpose is all about, and then you're going to want to know what 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 um where your de your developmental process is at. So are you taking your first initiation, second initiation? Are you already a master? So the relationships that you're going to want to be involved in are going to be on your level, same level. That's what I'm assuming. And I guess, and I'm pretty sure that's right. So, so anyhow, um, you're going to want to know what, what, what direction you're at. So that's how you're going to know whether you're, you're going to know whether you're in the right relationship or not. So, and and, and then, um, you know, I, I want to I want to open up the phone line right now. I have a person here, uh, area code two four eight. You're on the air. Aloha. Aloha. Yes. Who are we talking to? Uh, my name's Jennifer. And have you been have you been on our show before? Nope, I have not. I only started listening. Well, welcome. Minutes, but I had thank a you. <laughs> in but, uh, I thank you. Um, and where Jennifer? Process? Jennifer, where are you located at? Uh, so it's Detroit. It's Detroit. Detroit. Okay. So, and do you have a question for us? Yeah, what, okay, so you talk about the right person. You, may, you map it out, okay, this is the right person. But say you meet them, you, you know, and you feel it in your gut, but the time's not right. Is there a strategy for, do you bring the same person back or do you try and bring someone back that's like that person? Jennifer, you 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 you're just. That's a great question. I I, I hear you. I but like. I see the smart lady. <laughs> hang on. Answer, hang what's the answer? Let, let, I'm going to tell you the answer if you let me tell you the answer. So Jennifer, <laughs> uh, if, if uh, first of all, you're you're going to want to to be very frank with this person. You know, hey, I I I'm, I'm I like you. I'm, I'm and I'm interested in getting hang, hanging out with you. But right now is not a good time. I, I I've got a lot of stuff going through. That I'm going through 
and I need to deal with that now. And then, and as soon as I, as soon as that's over, uh, are you okay if I give you a call? Are you okay mm -hmm. if I text you? Are you okay on Facebook? Blah blah blah. Does that make sense to you? It's really simple. Actually, that's really it might be simple. The right time, maybe it may be the right time for you, but it may not be the right time for them as well. So it goes two ways. Right? Okay. Right. So, so, so how do you, you know, what do you, so what do you do in the meantime? You know, if, if, if let's say, like, and Jennifer is saying, Jennifer, it's, it's like right now, yeah, I want to hook up. And he's like, no, there's all these other things going on. So what should she do in the meantime? Just wait. I, I, she, I would, she, you know, and, and, and if anything else, go out and hang out with some other guys. Why not? Just have, because, you know, it, 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 it's, if a, a relationship is supposed to happen, it's going to happen no matter what, right? It, 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 it's going to, and they talk about soulmates. So there are some soulmates that will get together, and, and I've seen this happen before. Um, uh, they, they went and, and they broke up and they got married to other people, and then literally 10 years later, they come back and they, and they get involved with each other again, and they get married. I mean, it's like that. So, again, if you look at the sum, the sum product of, of what relationships are all about, is to become a get together as, as a group. You get together with your other soulmates and you start doing group projects. You start running education systems, political systems. I mean, I'll, I don't know all the different stuff, but it, it, you know, it just depends on what the, the tribe is all about, what the tribe is supposed to do. So they get together, uphold a, su a solar system, a sun, uh, um, a planet, or whatever as a service project. Because, because as you become more evolved, you start doing service. And that's another gauge to know whether this person is right with you. Because if, if, if all of a sudden you're, you're becoming more evolved and you're more advanced and, you start, you know, and you're doing service on a regular basis every day with you know, kids or people or, um, or whatever, then, then, then and if that person is also doing service, then that's probably a good match for you. Does that make sense to you, Jennifer? It does, and I, I think... I got to the point where I'm emotionally mature enough to have that conversation with a person, but you know, 20 years ago, that would have been a difficult conversation to Absolutely. have and to believe it from another person or have another person believe it from me. So I think, you know, as it depends on where you're at in your life cycle. So, you know, a 27 year old meeting someone who's a soulmate and they, they know it's a soulmate, they're going to push that. They're not going to have that. I'm not ready at this time. For that all right they're gonna push it because they think okay this I'm, I'm feeling this and they just come across as psychotic because the other person's not ready or they maybe don't see the same thing that that person's seeing this person's got you know the vision the clarity they know that this is their soulmate but the soulmate may not know it at that point so yeah, I, and I you come like, this place you know, of desperation <laughs> yeah I, I i you know it you're right it's Depends on where the person's at in their life cycle, yeah, or they're right. you now 37, their biological clock's ticking, and they're like, oh. And, wow. and, and, and it may be, it may be <laughs> Jennifer, that, that you need to hang out yeah. with a younger guy because you're so you're so structured with everything in life that maybe you just need to loosen up, and then a younger guy will, will do it for you or something like that. But I mean, uh, who knows all the different relationships mm -hmm. out there? But the, the bottom line is now uh, again. Yeah, if you get involved in a relationship and you want to know if that person's right for you, uh, now are you asking that or not? No, no, I, I can usually figure it out on my own. But yeah, I, I do find that that there always is some sort of timing issue between two. You could know right on the outset, but and I know when to walk away because I'm like, okay, this is not the right, and I know right away that it's not <laughs> the right time. Right. But you know, you keep. You're right. You keep them on Facebook. Yeah, you know. Send them Merry Christmas or whatever you want to do, but you keep in touch and then maybe they'll come around again. Maybe they won't, yeah. but you know what? When well, you're fixated on an outcome, that's when things blow up. Exactly. So now, so again, if if I if I knew a woman want, was interested in hanging out with me and this wasn't a good time for her, and, she, and that's what she was telling me, then uh, you know, it, then that so so be it. And but that doesn't mean I I, I need to stop hanging out with other women just because of, <laughs> because of a time and and. and you know, I think you you 
if, if you really want to be more serious about it, then then, then you want to set, set down some boundaries and, and intentions with each other uh, at that point. But uh, otherwise, you just wait and see what happens. And, and if it's meant to be, then, then everything will work out. And th there should be no jealousy issues because you, you don't have any commitment to each other, right? So in the meantime, you just you just right. you just, just ha you hang out and just do your do, do your do, and then when the time comes re is ready, time comes, then okay. then you reach out. Hey, uh, Joe Schmo, um, I, I'm finally free with with the stuff that I've been been having to deal with, and let me know if you're you know if you want to hang out. So you know it it, it goes both ways. Uh, you know he may he, at that point he may have found another lover and got involved with somebody else, and so and and then he and he might and. and if he was being um, adult about it, if, if you want to call it that, uh, then then he would say, "Hey, you know, I want to thank thanks for for your for reaching out. I appreciate it, but I'm I'm I'm, I'm already involved with somebody else. But thank you." But it would be like that. So. Well, Andrew, realistically, how many people can deal with rejection? <laughs> well, again, but see that that that's why we're having you know? earlier. Okay, earlier you were talking about all the crap we're going through with all these shootings and that's because of rejection people can't deal with rejection that kid i guarantee you that shot all those kids all those people all those kids is because he's been rejected all his life probably they've he's been told no 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 and finally he said well yes and i'm just going to shoot you all and that's 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 what that's all people don't know how to deal with, deal with rejection because they're never taught how to deal with it period well of course but, you know, there's, uh, well, all right, I think this all goes back, this is my thought, is we're not taught how to look inward. We're not taught to do introspection and self-reflection. And that's what these spiritual paths are, whether you believe in a, you know, a, 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 a Religion, it has a religious name to it, or it has a spiritual thing. I think, again, our American society is very materialistic and very, you know, gratifying in, in the moment. And when these things come up, it's a big, in, you know, wounding to the ego. We're a very ego-based society. Absolutely, and that's why I was saying so kind of earlier... About your you know, figuring out your system. developmental process, that will make a whole right. lot of difference. And, and kind of what you're talking about is the best case scenario, but that's not really the reality in the world. It's, it's, we're Absolutely, the it is. Scenario. Why? Why does it have to be a fantasy or some other bullshit thing? Absolutely, it's reality. Why would it be di anything different? If people don't want to be real with each other, then that's their problem, not mine. Period. The bottom line, and just like Jennifer, you say, well, yeah, I usually know if, if guys write for me or not. Why? Because usually you're probably in your heart space and you're being real with yourself. Is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. Exactly. And, and yeah, people... Yeah, and, and you know what? Well, it, like you said, that bar test is a good... And if that person's into you... You know what, what, what they feel about me should be none of my business. However, when it comes to like that sort of relationship, you kind of have to have a reciprocal. <laughs> you have to be real from the get go. Absolutely. Yeah, exactly. yeah. You absolutely do. Now, uh, but, uh, but sometimes, like, sometimes relationships start on premise, like a different premise where I may be looking for, you know, the white ticket fence, whatever. He may be looking for a shag, but mm -hmm. he, once he gets to know you, it grows. Absolutely. So, you know, the bar test could be a good one, but if you know in your heart of hearts that he's actually deep down inside a snow cave person, but at, for whatever reason he's looking at everyone else, I don't think that's necessarily a horrible thing. So, you know, some, some and, and you're right. would disagree with the bar test. Yeah, and, and I, I, I agree with criteria. you. Criteria, that's what we should say, that you should have other criteria besides just the bar test. And, okay, so let, let me finish up with that. Let me finish up with that, the other criteria. So again, you start out okay. with the bar, you, you, you get to, you meet this guy for the first time, you do the bar test, and yeah, he, he's, he's paying a lot of attention to you, so that's good. So then, 
and as you get to know this person more over the weeks, over the months, then you, you, the, the other criteria are, uh, is he being supportive? Is he being, is he being creative? Is he being productive? Is he being of service? Is he being appreciative of everything that's going on with you and with him and, and life in general? Now, the, for the, for the layman's person, the layman person, um, who needs more structure to, to, to be, um, more, um, um, hang on a second. Let me write this down before I forget. Time uh, for the layman person who needs more structure, um, the five rules of thumb for a good, healthy relations are no blaming, no complaining, no lies, no threats, no name calling. So those are uh, uh, other other boundaries that you can establish and uh, sustain with the, within a relationship, and, keep, and and know that you're in the right direction. You're in the, you're in the right person. And maybe this person is not the perfect person for you. Maybe he's not, uh, he or she is not the perfect person for you at all. But, it, 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 you know, and maybe it's tolerable or maybe it, it's a nice feeling just, just to be connected with someone on various levels. And so you, you just keep going. Again, all these relationships are practice for being involved in, in the, the twin flame, in the consort relationship further down the road. So, yeah. Right? Yeah, that's what I wanted. Yes, that's what I believe. And there's a lot of people that are looking, you know, they, they have this intent that they want to find the one as opposed to meeting and using dates, the dating experience as a way to fine tune and refine who you want. You're kind of like getting your criteria down. I like this about somebody. I want this height. I want this. Okay. Ability. I want this rather than, you know, it's got to be Mr. Perfect. And if it's not Mr. Perfect, then I'm not going to, you know, date. Rather than, I, we're going to use, I use this metaphysical principle that, you know, God, the universe, goddess, etc., is bringing these people into your life to give you experience and exposure to learn. Absolutely. Absolutely. And so from there, you, you want to determine <laughs> If, you know, from there you want to determine, are you in a karmic relationship? Is this a karmic relationship from other lifetimes? And, you know, maybe you were married and maybe you weren't very nice to that person in that other lifetime. So now you have to sh shift the energies around. Or are you in a, soul a soulmate a relationship? Are you in a relationship where, where you're from the same cloth? You're from the same tribe. I think that's the same tribe and the same cloth are the same, same thing. That you, are you, and, and each tribe has a certain, um, project eventually that they're going to do. They're going to uphold a planet or solar system or a sun or whatever. So are you part, a part of that? Uh, uh, is that soulmate uh, with you as well? Or is it, uh, and, and now the like, okay, now the likelihood that you run into a soulmate is, uh, uh, there's usually about six or seven people that are soulmates and that are on the planet at the same time as you are, from what I understand. And so you are, you, you'll probably be involved with two or three or four of them, maybe five or six of them, I don't know, as many as that. But the more you're involved with, the more you'll start doing projects together. You'll start doing things together as a group. And that's what I meant earlier what, what, what we were, when we were talking earlier about group projects. And so now a lot of times I will literally feel, uh, um, and I, I, I don't know if they're soulmates or they're just past life uh, relationships or both. But I will, and whenever I get involved intimately with a woman, I literally usually feel her like energy ahead of time, like two weeks in ahead, ahead, ahead before I meet her and, and connect with her and, and start talking to her. I literally will feel her uh, uh, two weeks before, beforehand. And I go, whoa, we're, and I literally will feel it all over my body. It's a really, usually a really nice connection, a nice energy. And I'm going, where in the heck is that coming from? And sure enough, that she shows up uh, two weeks later or so. So again, um, and now the twin. You need to bottle that. <laughs> right, <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah. Um, so, and um, and and that hasn't happened. So, so, and, and what's happened, you know, and, and that, the other thing too is about relationship. So, uh, sometimes people may not be ready really for relationship, or sometimes they may be scared, or sometimes uh, they they they're getting ready to move on to another planet or solar system. There's the indigo uh, kids, the indigo tribes. Uh, there's been three waves of them that have come through over the years, and we're into the last wave of them. And many of these indigo people 
Well, they're, they are. They're, they're going to, they're going to, as soon as they, they pass on, they transition, they move on, they're going to be going to another planet or solar system or galaxy, which I believe is what's going to be happening for me. So the likelihood that I'm going to not, I'm, I'm going to be involved in a meaningful relationship uh, that's going to last several, several years, 10, 20 years is not very high. Uh, and and there's a lot of relationship people, other people in those types of scenarios, they, they, they get in a relationship, they actually get married for, for two or three years, and then they're done. And so, so and why? Because they're, they're, they don't, uh, they, um, their souls don't want them to connect um, uh, and create more karma than they need to, because otherwise they're going to be, they're, they're going to be stuck here again the next lifetime. So their, their souls will keep them out of any karma, unnecessary karma, that uh, uh, and including relationships, including activities or events or whatever, so that they they'll be able to move on to the next next nice lifetime in another solar system or whatever. So it's like that. So there's so many variables about a, a person being uh, you know a person is being the right person or not. Uh, and, and it could well, be. This isn't stuff that you hear about all the time. So that's something that I never heard of. That's yeah. That what you just said. That, and that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying is. That, you know, people go, oh, did I find the right person? Oh, I'm so in love. But, you know, that may only last two or three years because your, your soul doesn't want you to stick around for, for, for another lifetime. So they're going to keep you out of, out of any more karma than you need to create so you can move on to the next solar system. And I'm almost 100% sure that's what my case right now. I, I'm going to, as soon as I, I, I move on, a transition from this body, I'm going to be moving to probably another galaxy. Is, is what I guess, what I think is going to happen, and and you know, do I agree with that? Do I do I not agree with that? You know, I just take it with a grain of salt and go with the flow, and whatever happens, and whatever is is, and, and it's it's like that. So again, um, um, and, and and now the twin flame, the twin flame aspect. Now the soulmates, when soulmates come together, they they come together to help each other, learn about each other. Uh, from what I understand, they they're here to to uh, work on karma of, 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 of their of personal karma, of personal stuff, uh, uh, and, and expand and grow consciously. Now the twin flame. Now um, I, I inquired about my twin flame to see if I had a twin flame, and I, I was told that actually there there I do have a twin flame here on the planet, um, and I actually and, and encountered her years and years ago, um, and. Probably we won't meet, we won't connect, we won't get involved with each other is my guess. And, and, for, uh, and so, um, and I was surprised because I don't think, I think a lot of people uh, don't even have their twin flame on the planet with them. They, they get, they're get they born, they go through life, and they never encounter their twin flame. They'll encounter, another, again, a number of soulmates, and, and then, and then again, you, 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 you get involved in relationships, and a lot of them probably are karmic relationships, the the ones that you're talking about that the most people don't don't even get involved in in, in in because because they're not ready for that uh, so they get in, they they clear up karma so and when you're clearing up karma you're clearing up karma uh, for yourself for your family for your state for your city and eventually for your country and then and then the planet and then the galaxy and then the solar system and and so on and so on so eventually you start working on karma uh, 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 on more expanded levels. As you develop and grow and, and move on and move forward, and then eventually, um, uh, again, like uh, years and years ago, I used to ask. I, I, you know, I used to, I was in relationship with people, and or something or something's going on, and I go, well, "Am I going to be met, meeting this person again?" And I, I would get, "Well, maybe one or two lifetimes, and that's about it." And then I'd ask, uh, "Am I?" And, and you know, for several people, I, I keep I would keep asking, "Am I going to be meeting uh, this person again?" And I go, no, probably not, not ever again. I go, hmm. And then this one woman, um, eventually, I, I, I think I, I figured out she was an FBI agent, and um, she didn't know I know. I knew. She, yeah, she was an FBI agent. I kid, I kid you not. So, and she actually lives here in Flagstaff and, and, um, and works here. And um, anyhow, she took me. Uh, we went out to to a jazz festival, and and then uh, we went to a wine cellar thing, and I and I kissed her, and then. That really turned her on, and so we went outside, and and then I, I later on I asked, I go, well, am I going to be involved with this person again? And I thought, hmm. And and the, my 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 guy goes, from now on, all the relationships that you're going to be involved in will be uh you'll be you'll be involved in future lifetimes. 
uh, for the for the most part. So in other words, I had cleared up enough karma to, to like to go to zero point, and now I'm moving forward. So it was kind of like that. And so and and then I got this this person. You're going to be involved with several of the lifetimes. So she's a probably a soulmate. I don't know that she's a twin flame. I don't think she is, but she's probably a soulmate. And I'm going to be involved with her several other lifetimes. Uh, and so after that, uh, I didn't worry about whether I was going to be involved with her anymore or not after that. And I did, and I um, I never got involved with her, with her again. But but um, I moved on, and 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 it's been like that since. Uh, so most of the people, and so and, and that also brought my awareness to a level of, you know, when I when I get involved with people. I always try to try to be uh, conscious about that involvement because you know if it turns out to be a shitty relationship or a shitty situation, I don't want to have to deal with that again next lifetime or whenever I see them again. So I try to make the best of it and try to make that relationship, um, no matter what kind of relationship it is, a healthy uh, relationship, and just and just be um, at peace with them or at least a, um, a level of of um, what's the word? What's the word? At, at, at level of, of, um, of just uh, just at a balanced level, so that way, if we get involved again or con connect again in another lifetime, then ho you know, hopefully it'll be on, on good terms, and I don't have to put up, you know, with any guff, with, in, in, and things will be a lot easier. So it's like that. So again, when, when you, there's a level of, of boundaries that you people can look at uh, concerning uh, whether that person is right for them, being supportive, being creative, being productive, being of service. Being appreciative, no blaming, no complaining, no lies, no no name calling, no threats, and then um, the, the, you can also uh, ask God, Goddess, uh, to send you to bring you the right person into your life uh, right away, uh, and and, um, and or, or actually the the right and healthy uh, uh, the perfect person if you want. You can even use those words, and then you can use a, a pendulum and and do muscle testing, and then you can consult an astrologer or psychic. Um, a lot of psychics out there, I hate to say that, don't have a, uh, they're not in their heart space as much as they could be or should be. So, uh, uh, you know, you, you can use your own personal uh, judgment concerning that. Um, and then, um, now, another thing too is, is uh, you know, you ask them how they're getting along with their parents. You know, chances are if they're, they're, they're getting along with their parents pretty good, they're, they're probably uh, in, in the right direction in terms of good, healthy relations. Um, and, and it doesn't mean that the the end all. That means you know that that necessarily they're they're not the right person. But you know you want to be uh, be um, open about that, and you want to be conscious about that. Uh, again, there's a lot of indigos that are on the planet. They're not going to be. They're not meant to stick around. Uh, a lot of these. So the, the likelihood, even if you're in a relationship with them, the likelihood that, that they're going to be in long term relationship with them is probably not very high. Because they 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 don't want they don't need karma to keep them still keep them keep them back here. So they're you know and again you want to know you want to know what what your intentions what 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 do you want out of that relationship any relationship. Um, oh and the other the other the other thing too is you want to look for codependency uh, um, um, codependency signs. You know are they needy? Do they want to do they want to uh, oh, take over your life? Do they want to be dominating? Do they want to dominate your life? You know, uh, you know, in 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 S and M or whatever. You know, there's passive aggressive and there's a dominator. Well, if you want to be involved in that type of relationship, seconds. fine. But but I don't recommend it. You know, it's, it's not healthy on so many so many levels. If if you if uh, if you want to promote codependency, so and and I don't do that. So again, the bar room test is the best way to 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 check it out. And again. Yeah, you know, you want to connect with as many tribal members as you can. I mean, if you, a soul, I, I believe a soulmate is the same tribe, you're, it's the same cloth that, that you're torn from, and you're meant to uh, uh, to produce or do some kind of project together as a whole. So eventually you'll get there. So if you understand that, then you ask yourself, am I in the right relationship? I think you can find that answer. I think it'll be really easy uh, uh, understanding all this. And, um, and if you're in your heart space, you don't even need to know any of this. If you're in your heart space, you're you're going to be in the right relationship. I pretty much guarantee you 100. I want to thank all of you for stopping by. Um, have a God Goddess a week. Week uh, is it week? Yeah, week. Be the love that you are, always have been, and always will be. Aloha.